to another special live interview. Today we are here with mayoral candidate Levi Tappan. We've got some questions here that uh, some have been submitted by the audience, some I've dug out of the depths of Google, and uh, he gets to be our guinea pig as he is our first official candidate we're interviewing. If you guys have any questions that you'd like to ask, you can put them in the comments, and if we can get to them, we will, but we're going to be asking the same set of questions out of all the candidates. Unluckily for you, you are the first one to hear all of these questions. Anybody else that watches it will know what's coming, so <laughs> we'll have to see how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, we've already. Mario says, Howdy, howdy, Mario. All right, we're going to stay away from the comments because he has some limited time. And, well, we've got a lot of questions going on here today. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Page America. Thanks for having me on. Well, we're glad you were able to stop on in. I'm sure you're busy over there. I, just, I snuck out from work for a few minutes. Did you? <laughs> just a couple minutes. Well, that's going to be a little bit longer than a couple, I think. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and dive right on right on in here. So you're Levi Tappan. You have been on the council before, and we'll talk about that as that's one of our questions. But the first question we have on our list is, where are you from? I was actually born in Page Hospital. Page Hospital? Uh, really? Right here in Page, America. Well, I'll be darned. Look at that. How long have you been a resident of Page? So I, after high school, um, so I graduated from Page High. So after high school, I went to the Marine Corps for five years. Um, so I've been back. So I was gone for about 10 years, and I've been back for about 11 years now. Okay. All right. Have you held a council seat before? Before my current one? I'm, I'm on right now. This yes. is my fifth year. Well, some my, of our viewers, we have yeah. viewers from California. So all this is my fifth year of my current term, my first term. Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. You are running for the mayor. How are you qualified for the position you're running for? What makes you think that uh, you're qualified to be running for mayor? What do you think you can bring to the table for that? Uh, my, ex my experience on council, um, I have a degree in finance, um, and just being a regular old pageite, wanting to represent the people. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is the single most important issue in PAGE? Um, the single most important issue? Um, good, good issues or bad issues? <laughs> It doesn't matter. What do you think is the most important? Thing? <laughs> We've got some more specific stuff later on, but in your mind, what is the, the single most important issue in PAGE right now? Um, so the issue that I would like to um, draw back is to make PAGE feel more like a community again. Where we are kind of being overrun by tourists right now, and there's been a lot of emphasis on tourism, but we also need, we have a community, and the uh, like I've been at a fundraiser at the Bowen Alley within just an afternoon where $10,000 was raised for uh, medical expenses for, for a friend. So we really have a lot of good people in here and we've kind of lost that sense of community and helping your neighbor out. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. What is the worst thing that's happened to Paige in the last five years? The worst thing? Uh, when the government shut down, the park service came out and uh, shut down our uh, shut out shut down the Grand Canyon shut down Glen Canyon and that same year we had the collapse on highway 89 I remember that that was whew. so uh, when we're surrounded by federal entities that we don't have any control of and they and the tourism is our lifeblood and they shut they shut the parks down and didn't let our people go out there okay what is the best thing that's happened to Paige in the last five years? Best thing, uh, again, it, it kind of goes back to tourism. Uh, <laughs> when I first got on council, we talked about how to ex extend the shoulder season and get more tourists in here. It seems like this last year they never really left. We have, we're, we're a year-round destination now. Okay, yeah, I, I agree with you. Usually we have a kind of a lull, and this year it just kind of kept going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, what does Paige do well? Um... Well, under when you say page, are you talking about the, the city? Yeah, the of city of Page, the government yeah. and stuff. Or, you know, like the whole city. What do we do so, well? So, well, over the last five years, we've been real fiscally conservative. We there's been a bond debt that's been out there for twenty years, and we'll have it paid off by this year now. Okay, so it'll actually be paid off this year. Okay, uh, let's see what. Uh, well, we'll have enough money in the bank account to pay it. Oh, okay. It off. I see. By, actually, by the end of next year. By the end of next year, two years early. Nice. Okay. Um, let's see, what could Paige do better? 
And when, I, when I'm saying Paige, I mean, you know, the, the city okay. government. We're going to go with city government. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Paige just kind of encompasses that. Yeah, um, yeah there, there's lots of little things that we can do um, to help the community. And um, it took me, when I got on council, it took me four years to get a new swing set. Um, I had to form a, a, parks and rec, a parks and rec board. We had to do this master study. And then finally, we got a swing set. So... Uh, in Dollyard Park, so it's okay. We could be a lot better at, at community stuff. Okay. Let's see. What style of leadership does the city need right now? Uh, With the elections coming up. Well, I, well, since since I'm running, I, I'll say my style is a servant type servant leadership. Okay. So um, lead by example. Get out there in the trenches and okay. Be out there with the people. Uh, let's see, how can you or the city support small business development and expansion? Uh, I'm a big supporter of the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, would, I would attend those meetings, when the board meetings that they've had, and, um, and where there's a lot of new tourism businesses in town, so that's to be business friendly. Okay. Let's see, what basic services need improvement? Once again, this is you know the city of Page government thing. Um, but we're working on our streets to get our streets. Um, it makes the streets that we prepare to make such a big difference when you have a nice street. Uh, once the streets are nice, the neighbors start taking care of their yards, and then the, when your neighbors take care of your yard, then you take care of your yard, and it's just kind of it's a big wave of effect that cleans up every the whole town. Makes sense. What is the city's biggest economic development opportunity? Um, we don't have a lot of campgrounds, so there's, um, camping, we have a lot of room for improvement for tourism, uh, for guests to stay here, but also for, we need to improve on the housing stock for the people that do live here. That's a later question. <laughs> I, I Economic we development. Get <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. All right. Uh, let's see. How can P, uh, that, that's actually your next question. How can Paige create workforce housing? Because uh, as, as people that live here know, there's been a lot of discussion about that. There's a current housing study and all of that. How can Page, the city government, create workforce housing or incentivize that? Um, we can uh, we can incentivize it. Something I talked about when I ran five years ago that I still have, I haven't seen, but we have a lot of older mobile homes in town. And I, one of my ideas was if, we, if someone were to drag an old motor home, mobile home off a lot, uh, and build a stick bill on that same lot that we wouldn't charge some of the inspection fees and fees to build a new home. Okay. Uh, anything else with that one? Um, I I mean, it would be great if the city could come in and build housing, but I'm not going to... I don't want government housing in Page, and those those projects never turn out well, as history has shown. So <laughs> Definitely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we can make it easier for builders to come in, but the city of Page, I, I, I'll keep them out of from building houses. Okay, all right. Let's see, uh, what is the city's biggest financial challenge and how is it addressed? Uh, I guess our biggest challenge is we don't have a property tax. So that's one of the nice things about being in Page for homeowners. Uh, so our challenge is our economy is based on the economy of the whole world and the U.S. And as long as we're friendly to other countries and they keep coming sending tourists over here, then our economy, our economy will do well. Okay. Uh, let's see, what are we spending too much money on? Too much money on? Currently. Uh, studies. <laughs> studies. <laughs> Can you be a little more specific? What, what, uh, so, what studies are you referring to? So we to? had to do a big park and rec study that cost uh, taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars. They want to do a water study, because I've advocated for a swimming pool for the last five years. Okay. They want to spend $75,000 to do an aquatic study to see what we need. When okay. most residents know we need a swimming pool. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, what are we not spending enough money on? Uh, not spending enough money? Yeah, well, that, that, it's like a two-part question. Yeah, so what just, are we spending too much money on, and what are we not spending enough money on? What should we be focusing on more? Um, I think police and fire is kind of a, uh, a sensitive issue since we're a town of 8,000, but we're... Uh, but we have four million people come through, 
and our police and fire is based on our town size of 8,000, yet to the tourists and the surrounding areas, which we encompass about 40,000 people, we, um, they, those people are running. They're running. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. Do you support the City of Page's master plan, and why or why not? The Parks Master Plan? Um, it's the the one that the uh, the City of Page, uh, the City Council, they they have you know that whole brochure, the master plan for everything. I think it's there's Parks and Rec. I think it's got like the direction for the whole city on it. We can come like back our, to like that. Our later. Priorities. Yeah, yeah, like there's, there's the strategic priorities. I'm obviously the Parks and Rec is part of that. I mean, just the direction that they've kind of laid out for like the next, I think it's five or ten years that they have on there. Uh, if we're talking about the same one, I think uh, I do support it. We do a little uh, annual at once a year. We do a little retreat with council and decide where we want our priorities. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, what do you think of the City of Page's new zoning code draft that is being worked on currently? Uh, the, it needs some work. The old code does need to be updated. We're, there's lots changed in the last 30, 40, or 30, 20 years since it was written. Okay. So it does need to be looked at, but there are some areas that still need to be worked, hammered out. Okay. Um, let's see here. What positive steps do you think the City of Page has taken in the past year and a half? Uh, so like we finally got the Galliard Park, we finally got that swing set in there. So we finally got some community amenities that are starting to come together. Uh, we've got some pavement starting to go down on the streets. Okay. Uh, let's see. If uh, elected to the City of Page's uh, mayor position, what would be your top priority and where would you focus your energy? Uh, I'd like to, again, come back to community and community support. Um, one of the first things I'd like to do is on our water tower paint home of the Page Sand Devils. Oh, okay. Um, get some support around the schools. Um, I, I graduated from Page High School and the diversity there that I, that I grew up with and learned, I think that's helped me well in life. And so I think if we get the town on board with something and we can support our schools and um, so that would be one. One place where I start, just something simple like painting the name on the water tower. Just try and bring a sense of community to everyone? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do you believe counselors should focus more on the needs and interests of the citizens, the tourists, or the city as a whole? You've kind of pointed at that a couple of different ways, but there's your official question on it. So I, what I'd like to, uh, like a three-part focus. We focus on our citizens and our community. We'll also focus on our businesses. And then we let those two people take care of our tourists. Okay. And when you say focus on people and businesses, you've kind of mentioned with the people, what do you mean focusing on businesses? Do you have anything specific for that? Um, just make it a business friendly, business friendly environment. Okay. So when people come into City Hall, they don't hear, no, you can't do that. They hear, okay, well, let's see how we can work with you. Um, there was a restaurant that wants to open on 6th, and I, under our code, there wasn't enough parking. Okay. But instead of telling that business, no, you can't do that, we need to work with them and figure out how we make it work. Okay. All right. So kind of deregulate things a little bit for businesses. Okay. Um, let's see. Do you have a... Uh, oh, no, not that one. Let's see. Well, actually, we're going to go ahead and ask you as well because um, there, are, there have been a lot of questions on this one. So we're just going to go ahead and bring it up. Do you have any conflicts of interest that would prevent you serving as in the mayor position? Well, I, being in a small town, I feel like all, all my issues are related to myself or my friends and family in the community. Um, I do have a vacation rental, and we talk about that quite a bit. Okay. But, but there's over almost 200 of those in Page, so. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's see what else we have here. How do you rate the government's performance in the past? I mean, obviously up to this point. Yeah, so the... The past, I, I mean, they made decisions. I wasn't there, so I don't know why they made some of the decisions they made. But they were looking in hindsight, it's always twenty twenty. But I'm oh, of course, they made yeah. some of the decisions <laughs> that they made. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. In what areas have they failed to deliver on promises? Well, the, one of the reasons we have this bond debt is when those facilities were built in the nineties, and they increased taxes. What facilities are we talking about? Uh, the new police station, fire department, uh, the library, and the airport. Okay. When those were built, the citizen, they went out to a bow and the citizen says, said, yes, we want to increase the sales tax from 2% to 3%. That 1% was to pay down the bond debts to pay for those buildings, mm -hmm. which should have been paid off in 10 years. 
Um, the current administration at that time didn't pay off that debt, and so 20 years later, we still have that debt. Okay. In what areas have they surpassed the delivery of promises? So when they when they weren't doing that, when they weren't paying that debt, they did have, we did have quite a nice uh, parks and rec recreational program and softball and kids sports. And that the softball, like the adult sports and adult softball, has really dropped off since then. Okay. If you had the power, what one government policy would you reverse? Uh, federal or city page? The city of page. Yeah, we're, <laughs> yeah, we got to stay local I, I here. Think globally here. <laughs> yeah, focus on on, on page. Yeah, that's <laughs> focus page. Think globally. Yeah, yeah. Um, one one policy I would reverse. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to think about that one. All right, not a problem. What are your thoughts on the city of Page's efforts in attracting tourists to Page? I think we are, right now I think we're being overrun by tourists, so I think we need to focus on taking care of the ones we have here. Okay. Do you believe the city of Page should collaborate with external tourism partners and advertise more, or do you believe that the city of Page does enough already? We, we do, uh, we are part of the Arizona Department of Tourism, although their Arizona's Department of Tourism is focused in Phoenix. Um, but I think we have to have those partners in Phoenix and in, in the county and even in Utah, we have to have those partners because we're a small little island that are surrounded by federal land and as you know, we don't get much help from the feds or the state. Yes, we are out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Do you believe the city of Page has properly addressed the impact, uh, the impact the possible closure of the NGS will have on Page and the surrounding communities? So that, so this is not the first uh, boom and bust for Page. This is actually the third time mm -hmm. uh, we've had a uh, big business like that go away. We're already transitioned into that tourism economy. Like I said, they didn't go away this last winter. So we're, I think we've already made the transition, uh, but families are, are going to be hurt. Two people on my street, um, their kids are my age, their, their families are going to be leaving uh, because of the closure of the plant. So it's, again, it's affecting our community, it's affecting our families. And I think to have that strong community, we need people here that are having babies, that are in the school system, that are in the community. Okay. Uh, let's see, what is your vision for the City of Page's relationship with the surrounding governmental entities, such as Coconino County, the Navajo Nation, Tuba City, Cayenta, the City of Flagstaff, Kane County, and Kanab? I think we need to have a real good working relationship with them. Um, one of the ones I think we really need a good relationship is the Park Service. Most of our, or a lot of our businesses here work on park land, so we need to have a good relationship with the Park Service. I really like the new superintendent, Billy Schott. Um, so I would like to, I would, as mayor, I would have lunches with him once a week or once a month. Okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. What else we got? Uh, how do you plan to involve residents in the decision-making process here in Page? Uh, we're talking about. We've been talking about the last three years about Main Street, Main Street, and how to streetscape it and what to do with that central business district. And I've said we need to just have a community meeting and get those businesses in and get the community in to have input, and that hasn't happened yet. Okay. Uh, what part of town do you live in, and why? Where are your favorite places to spend time in Page? I live over by the middle school. I was very fortunate when I came back to town. A friend was wanting to move at that particular time, so I was able to step into a nice house on that side of town. Okay. Um, my favorite... My favorite place is to be on the lake, so... Be out on the lake? I can't say I blame you on that one. <clears throat> All right, what are your thoughts on the proposed budget, the one that was uh, discussed and passed uh, the other night? Or I think it's getting passed coming up. Or... Yeah, well, it's, it worked pretty much, but it looked, um, there we're actually putting a lot. We're putting $6 million into capital projects and improving the town and streets, so I'm really glad that we've been banking a lot of that money that... So under city government and, and budgets, you can only spend what you budget for, and our tax revenue has been climbing each year. And so I've always said we need to put that money back into the community or quit taxing, and this year we're putting it back into the community. Okay. So I'm really happy about that. All right. 
If you could change one thing in the zoning code, what would it be and why? And they're talking about the the zoning draft code that, that, that you guys are currently working on. Is there something that stands out to you that you well, want to change? They have these, it's this overall policy, that they're all overall zoning, and I think it really needs to be, it really needs to be sectioned out because what works in one part of town is not going to work in another part of town. Okay. So it really needs to be written by zone. Okay. Do you think, uh, you just kind of mentioned on this, do you think that uh, Main Street downtown is healthy and successful? If not, what would you do to change that? Uh, I think those businesses are doing are doing really good. They're, they're starting to clean up their storefronts and, and do a lot of good there. So I think it is healthy and they are cleaning up. Um, but anything, we, we need to clean up the street and do the city, the city sidewalk part. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Wow, we're actually cooking right through these. That's, I'm impressed. I was th sitting here looking at them going, man, if we spend any, even two minutes a piece on these, we're going to be here forever. <laughs> so we did get quite a few done here. Let's see. How would you rate the state of Page? What are your thoughts on the improvement efforts that have been made over the past 10 years? What do you believe still needs to be done? So, like, I think we have three entrances in the Page. Uh, copper mine and then both sides at 98. I think we need big entrance signs on each each of those three entrances that have big welcoming signs. Uh, the roundabout, now that's controlled by ADOP, but I think we need to be doing a lot more pushback to them. I think you go into big cities, or not big cities, but you go into like Camp Verde and they have a roundabout or in Idaho in their roundabouts and they have big monuments over these uh, roundabouts. So I think we need to have some kind of monuments there. We need to have some wel we have some welcoming language for the citizens. Um, I've asked for SRP if they're closing down. I've asked that they give us some scrap metal to display around town. Maybe a turbine to sit in the roundabout. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Just some simple, simple beautifications. Uh, when the tractor club was kicked out of the gas where the tractor club used to be, <laughs> and they were kicked out of there. Um, they wanted to set up a display in town somewhere with their tractors. And so one of the ideas I thought was good at the horse corrals, we set up display there along Hall Road. They would uh, gravel some sidewalks and put some signage up and have a nice display for the tourism to take, well, as they're driving by, they stop out and take pictures. Okay. Um, that, that didn't get passed, but I thought that would be an awesome idea. Just simple stuff that doesn't cost the city money. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. We covered that. Uh, do you support the use of tax increases to address the city's needs for improvement, and why or why not? Uh, I think we. I don't think we necessarily need tax increases. We have we have revenue coming in over budget, uh, and it increases every year. We're slated to have three more hotels open up, so that'll be more tax revenue. Okay. Um, let's see. Are you in favor of? No, nope, that one's uh, doesn't even apply to this one. Apparently, I forgot to weed out all the questions there. Are you concerned about rising property prices? So, I've been thinking about that because people would like to, you know, it would be nice if someone came in and built a, a hundred or a thousand houses mm -hmm. for the workforce. But if someone did do that, that would cut property prices, the houses in half, the values in half. So, if you're trying to sell a house, that's not too good. If you have equity and trying to build up equity, that's not good either. Um, but the prices are going up because of the shortage of housing. So Okay. Uh, is there anything you would like to add, a message for the city? I see you, you've brought some, you notes some notes with you. Notes. <laughs> uh, let me look over here and see. Uh, so, so people are still sticking along long enough to see my notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, don't um, forget, I mean, they can watch it on the replay. Like I said, a lot of people do watch uh, later on in the day, and they were listening, so they haven't asked a lot of questions. I'd like, um, you know, we need to... Uh, we need to build a, whip, a river walk. We need a trail committee to build a, a walk all the way from Page to Horseshoe Bend. Um, ours will be a kind of a unique river walk because you can't quite get in the river. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> a view. Uh, we need a trails committee. Um, we need citizens that are interested in that to come. And I'd like to help be the place where people, those groups that want to do stuff and are interested in certain things, uh, people that are interested in riding uh, mountain bikes we can have a group for them that works on the trail around town and there's just so much to do around here it's, it's just exciting times to be here definitely we're gonna I mean there's some big decisions coming up 
uh, there's some big decisions coming up that'll shape the town for the next 50 or 100 years. Such as? So I like I like to have that long outlook. Um, we, there's going to be some, the Arizona State Parks has approached us, which I'm, the guy, I gave him a hard time because one the top one third of the state, there's like 22 or 28 state parks in Arizona, mm -hmm. but the top one third of our state has no state parks. <laughs> So when they approached us, I said, "Yes, come put a come put a state park in. Come come spend some of our tax money, bring it back to Page. Um, so where that park's going to go, that's going to affect. Uh, there's a couple entities that want to come in and build uh, uh, RV parks in Page. So okay. that's going to affect how the city looks. Uh, we need to uh, clear off or make some land available. Well, there is land available, but to direct these places that want to build houses, the, just the way the shape of the town is going to be. Okay." Um, where are they talking about putting the uh, the state park at? Uh, Horseshoe Bend. They want to do a Horseshoe Bend state park. Oh, so like they, the state would just take that over, kind no, of. No, so they would just be to the side of it. They would be. Oh, okay. To the north of it, and uh, build an RV park there. Oh, the, I see. The, the accesses. Okay. The um, park, and we and there's been lots of talk about that Horseshoe Bend, and we Paige owns the parking lot. And the view, and Park Service owns the view. Okay. So we own the parking lot. We own the front door. And I think that's, that important is who owns the front door. And some people want to give that away. I think we should keep the, keep control of the front door. Okay. Um, I know you had an interview uh, down south a while ago about the traffic control nightmare that is going on at Horseshoe Bend on a daily basis. We actually covered it uh, live over Memorial Day weekend. And uh, apparently, on pretty much a daily basis, they actually have to completely close the parking lot and do traffic control to empty it so that they can then refill it. Yeah, f five years ago when I ran for council, one of the things I said we should start charging for that parking lot to raise money, and that was not not everyone on council agreed with that, but they've come around the last five years like we're behind the bullet now, but yeah, we need to do something out there. So how, how exactly would that work? I, my concern is, you know, I've been out there, I've been here in Page for 16 years. If there's a feed booth there with the current way the road is and everything, it's gonna create even more of a bottleneck than that's, that's going on right now. How are you gonna yeah, try no, there, There's a plan and it has a long driveway to, before you get to the fee booth okay. to get people okay. off the road. All right. Yeah, that was my next question. Are they going to have like a, like an actual turn lane to get yes. in there? Because right now, if someone just stops and they have to wait, they can get rear-ended. I mean, there's, Yeah, that's what I was bringing to Ada. This is your road, your responsibility. You need to take care of your your road. And their response is we haven't had to... They don't have enough data, which translates to they haven't had enough deaths. Yeah, there's not enough fatalities in that one area. And I, and I work at the Page Hospital. I see the accidents that come in there. I, I see the people, um, the one lady that died and got ran over by a bus in there. They're, we are way behind on this. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything else that you'd like to share with everyone out there? Um, I think one of the things we have a new... Uh, Public work guy Kyle Chris Jansen, he's doing an awesome job. Um, traffic, we need to work on our traffic control and rerouting the tourists so that make it friendly for them to get to where they want to go and where it's not interrupting the community and the people that live here. Okay. Um, actually, uh, going along with the traffic control, uh, I remember a question that's come up, and I've actually thought of it a, a whole lot. And I believe uh, Lois actually was talking to Chris Jansen about, about this as well. Uh, when are we going to get controlled left turn lanes at our stoplights? <laughs> you know, where you have an actual green arrow that says, hey, you can turn now instead of having to wait or you, you know, oh. it's just a kind of a nightmare. I think that would make it, a, well, I, I think, and a lot of other people have come to us and mentioned it, uh, that that would make it safer for pedestrians, safer for cars, and would probably uh, uncongest that area during our height of tourist season. Yeah, and I just read this article, so like it, Asia and their, the way they approach traffic lights is a lot different than we do in America. And even, even in big cities, it, God, we're, in this, we're stuck in this bubble and page, which is it's good and it's bad at the same time. I mean, it's, it's our it's own awesome, thing. Yeah. It's an awesome <laughs> to raise kids in this, this protected bubble, so it's awesome that way. But like most stoplights now have a counter, with the, the countdown timer to see when that light's changing. Mm -hmm. And um, so when these other countries come here, they don't understand how how it works in the United States so uh, we could do things a lot more friendly for the Asians they 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 read 
their information right on the street a lot more. Oh, do they? Like okay. slow down on the street. Um, there's a lot more different signage. So we can do a different type of signage depending on who's coming here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Is there anything else you'd like to share with people? Um, yeah, I just I just want to represent the people, represent the mayor's office. I, I go to the school. I go to the... the uh, they don't call it a... Uh, they don't call it the student, student council anymore. They call it leadership class. Leadership class, okay. Um, so I go there. There's lots of students that are engaged. Um, I mean, I go to the high school graduations. I just, I think the mayor needs to represent the city and be a lot more involved with. Okay, yeah, just be more involved. That, with the that's, what, that's what I would do as mayor. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, let's see. We've got some people talking. Let's see what we have. Uh, Let's see, Joshua says, go Levi. <laughs> uh, Julie is saying... Oh, so, uh, jo so Josh is a friend. He's uh, out on the Navajo Nation. I, okay. These are contacts that we need to have. I've gone to the... I've made friends with our state legislature, um, Lena Fowler, our commanding commission. I mean, we need, to, um, we need to bring those out. We need to have those connections to the outside world because... Okay. So, hi, Josh. <laughs> now, let's see. Julie says, uh, hope they do something with the parking lot of Horseshoe Bend. We were talking about that. Um, let's see. Hate to see what's going on with the museum. Uh, there was a big thing with that, but uh, apparently they did a, a decision oh, that, reversal the other oh, so day. That, that brings up a... Uh, thank you for bringing that up. Sure. Um, so, uh, when we were talking about the face of page and what these big decisions... So, if, so currently, we don't have air traffic service right now. Um Great Lakes. I tried to get them out for the last four years, but was overturned every time. And now these are the results. We don't have any air traffic service here. Okay. Um, it'd be nice. We'd like to. They'd like to bring in a, some jets or some bigger planes. So I think one of my ideas. Well, these are ideas that have been told to me. I collect ideas. The, the citizens around here have really good ideas. I think we should listen to them. <laughs> Definitely. That's why um, we're asking questions that they put out there. <laughs> so uh, one of the ideas is to move the... There's an old dump road, which is just on the other side of the dam, that, where city property is still. Oh, okay. Is right. to move the airport over there. Okay. And we have a nice long runway. We can bring in jets. Um, then the people on stage won't have their windows blown out every time. <laughs> uh, we open that land up for housing. Beautiful Rimview property. Um, the city hall is on Main Street. We don't we don't need the city hall on Main Street. We need to either let a business come in there that wants to open up a restaurant or some other entrepreneur to okay. open up some tourism business there. Uh, that'd be a great place for a museum or a big w welcome center. Okay. So we need to get city hall off of Main Street. Let, let let businesses take over and let them do what they do well. Okay. So we need to start playing some musical chairs in town and. Like I said, that's going to affect how this town's going to look in the next 50 years. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, once again from Julie, she says, rental housing needed in Page for people having jobs in Page. Uh, we kind of touched on that a little bit. Uh, Julie says, uh, good job. And let's see. What about the possibility of an indoor pool with water slides? This is from Rhonda. Uh, what I would like to see is... If you've ever been to Kanab, they have an outdoor pool and it's got water slides, it's got a lazy river, it's got lap lanes, it's got a small, a, a zero entry pool for little kids. Oh, okay. Um, something I learned when I had kids is I never understood why you need a swimming pool when you have a real big one in your backyard, but it's hard to take your kids out there before they know how to swim. It's hard Definitely to put them in a 500 foot deep pool. <laughs> so I, uh, my big push has been a swimming pool. I, I would like one just like Kanab. Where are you thinking of, where, where, where would that fit? Uh, originally, I would like to have it back at the, the community center right there along Main Street. Have it right there in the middle of the park, one of our big features. Um, I don't know if there's enough room for that. but And then we could use this, the town, the community center that we already have to be that entryway. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Bill Dyack, he had a good idea that we have the para club, And uh, if NGS is leaving... Maybe we could get them to sell that back to us okay. and open up a water park behind the para club, and that would be an awesome sports complex. Okay. Um, I'd like to have an outdoor. I'd like an outdoor pool because I think it could be used longer year round, and it's, you don't have as much heating costs. Okay. So we gotcha. could capture that solar. That makes sense. Okay. So that's what I'd like to have, but they, but 
they want to master plan it and spend seventy five thousand dollars on a study when the citizens know. What we so need. that water study that they're talking about is actually for the pool. Is to study to study what kind of water we need. What kind of yeah? The water the water the aquatic study is to study what kind of swimming pool we need. What like salt water or fresh water? <laughs> well, I I think the citizens know what we need. I don't, yeah. I don't want to spend that much money <laughs> studying it. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Anne says, agreed with the airport move. The jet fuel in town is bad some days. So she's agreeing with uh, what you were talking about on that. How, how exactly would something like that be financed? How would you manage to well, get that you, over there? Well, you can sell it. That land becomes prime real estate land. And if you sold off that into subdivisions, I, uh, I haven't done the exact math on it. Or I don't. I have no idea how much an airport costs to build. But uh, they probably have to do a study. <laughs> yeah, we would have to study it. <laughs> but uh, that prime land, there's a lot. That airport is huge, and it's all could be rim view and then subdivision closer. Um, and that that's one of the prettiest views I think in town. Definitely, it is beautiful out there. So, so selling off that and just to be subdivision, that that could fund a lot of the airport move. Okay, all right. Let's see if we have anything other ones here. All right, it looks like we've gone through most of them here. All right, so if you guys have any other questions that you'd like us to ask uh, in a follow-up interview at some point, go ahead and put them in the comments or send them to lakepalnews at gmail.com or message us on Facebook or stop by the office or whatever it is you want to do and uh, let us know and we'll uh, definitely do that in a follow-up interview. We, are go uh, we have scheduled uh, interviews for all of the new council members that are going to be running and all of the mayoral candidates that are going to be running. And this was the first one. We'd like to thank Levi for uh, taking time out of his day and stopping in to chat with us. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Here. <clears throat> you guys have a good one, and we will see you soon.